Today, we remember what is known as Good Friday. This is the day Jesus would be falsely accused, tortured, mocked, and put to death on a cross for a crime he did not commit. He would endure a day that none of us could possibly imagine. In reverence, let's begin with a moment of silence. Have you ever wondered how Jesus began this day all those years ago? The day he knew he would suffer. How do you wake up and keep moving forward when you know that you'll be facing great pain? Most of us avoid pain at all cost. Jesus endured it. Why? Jesus knew the full story. He knew how things would turn out for good. Yet we find him pleading with God in the Garden of Gethsemane to let him skip the suffering if it would produce the same result. God's answer was no. There was no way around it and Jesus still said yes. In other words, Pain doesn't magically become easy just because you know it will turn out for good. Jesus said yes to the pain because pain was the only way to bridge the gap from him to you. And for Jesus, that was worth it. The writer of Hebrews tells us in our own pain and hardship to look to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured from sinners such hostility against himself, so that you may not grow weary or faint-hearted. Today, you might be facing a painful situation, suffering through an ongoing sickness, battling with mental health, When we walk through suffering, waking up is never easy. Be encouraged. Jesus woke up on Good Friday. Look to his suffering. Consider his sacrifice. Because he woke up and faced suffering, you can too. It is for this reason that he did it in the first place. Today, against all odds, we say yes. We remember his death. We proclaim his resurrection. We await his coming in glory. Amen.